welcome back to Rita Roo Kids. My name is Miss Christy, and today I have another awesome book to read with you. If you're as excited as I am, be sure to give this video a thumbs up below, and don't forget to click subscribe. That way, every time we post a new story, you and I can read together again right away. All right, today's book is called Pinkalicious. Thanksgiving Helper by Victoria Kahn. I just love all of the Pinkalicious books, so I'm excited to find out how her Thanksgiving goes. Let's get started. Pinkalicious Thanksgiving Helper by Victoria Kahn. It was Thanksgiving Day. I could hear Mommy baking in the kitchen and could smell the turkey cooking in the oven. Outside, Daddy was raking big piles of leaves. Let's go outside, I said to my little brother, Peter. Wee! we yelled as we jumped into the leaves. Daddy gave me and Peter rakes. Why don't you help me, he asked. We raked the leaves into more piles. Happy Thanksgiving, I shouted as I leaped into the leaves again. Peter did a cannonball yelling, gobble, gobble, gobble. I think that's enough help from you two, Daddy said. Maybe you can go inside and help your mom. Let's pretend it's the first Thanksgiving, I said, putting a pink feather in my hair and a big hat on Peter's head. You can be Pilgrim Pete, and I will be Princess Pinkfeather. This is my wild unicorn, Golden Tail. Okay, Peter said. Now what? Follow me, I said. Mommy had decorated the living room, and it looked turkey-tastic. Well, almost. The painting hung crookedly on the wall. It was too high for us to reach, so I balanced on Golden Tail. Crunch! Mommy hurried in from the kitchen. Are you all right? You're not supposed to climb the furniture, Pinkalicious, she said. I felt terrible. I'm sorry, Mommy. We were just trying to help. Never mind. I'm sure Daddy can fix it, she said. I need to run to the store. Pinkalicious, Peter, please remind Daddy to check on the turkey while I'm out. Maybe there's something we can help Mommy with in the kitchen, I said to Peter. Follow me. I spotted a bag of marshmallows and sweet potatoes ready for mashing. Look, Pilgrim Pete! Mommy is going to make her marshmallow-licious sweet potato casserole. Let's help her. We looked around for the potato masher, but couldn't find it. I know, Peter said. He ran out of the kitchen and came back with the badminton rackets. Who knew helping could be so much fun, I said as we mashed the potatoes. Cling! Uh-oh, looks like something else broke. Daddy rushed into the kitchen. Careful, he said. He bent down and picked up the turkey-shaped salt and pepper shakers. I think I can fix these. I slumped. <sighs> we are the worst Thanksgiving helpers in the history of Thanksgiving. No, you're not. Why don't you set the table while I work on these? Pilgrim Pete, let's set the table so it looks just like the first Thanksgiving, I said. Do you think they had forks and knives? I can use my arrow for a knife, Peter said. I know they didn't have light bulbs back then, I said. We need to find some candles. Didn't Native Americans rub rocks together to light a fire? I think so. And they probably used leaves for napkins. I bet they used seashells for cups. We need corn for the table too. There he is with all his... Native American corn, and she's got leaves and squash. These are called gourds. And there's the arrows he thinks he's going to use as a knife. Pilgrim Pete, do you smell that? We looked at each other. The turkey! Daddy, don't let the turkey burn! I yelled. Daddy opened the oven and took out the golden brown turkey. It was cooked perfectly. Mommy walked in. Mmm, the turkey smells good, she said. You can thank Princess Pinkfeather and Pilgrim Pete for that, Daddy said. They reminded me just in time. 
We also help set the table, I said. Come look. We set it so it looks like the first Thanksgiving, Peter said proudly. Mommy hugged us. Can I have a feather for my hair too? Princess Pink Feather, she asked. My fire starting technique is a little rusty. Mind if I use matches for the candles instead of these rocks? Asked Daddy as he put on a big hat. I'm thankful we don't have to cook a turkey over an open fire, Mommy said. I'm thankful for cups. These seashells don't hold much apple cider, I said. Peter bit into Mommy's decorative corn. Blech! I'm thankful for rolls. I'm going to miss our Thanksgiving helpers. Do you think Princess Pinkfeather and Pilgrim Pete can stick around for a while? Mommy asked. I giggled. We'll see what we can do, but first, please pash the marshmallow sweet potatoes. I loved reading with you today, and I hope that we can read together again soon. Don't forget that if you liked this book, to give it a thumbs up below and click subscribe. That way, every time we post a new story, we'll read together again right away. If you'd like activities to go along with these books, you can always head over to readaroukids.com. There we do all kinds of fun things like arts and crafts, science experiments, sometimes we make recipes together or work on our math skills. There's so much fun, so I hope you'll join me over there. If you'd like to see what we're up to every day, you can follow us on all of our social media. Again, I loved reading with you today, and I hope that we can read together again soon. Until then, Rita Roo loves you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.